Hello, one and all, this is Wendell Matakos, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore. When we last left off, there was something conspicuous about these three evil chests that I didn't notice in the last video, but I noticed it in the loading screen for this video that you all didn't see, because I don't record that part, but, um, the hint is on the map, and some of you may have already noticed it when I pointed that out. Uh, some of you might have noticed it last video, but there is an uber chest underneath this chest of evil. I don't know if we'll ever be able to open that uber chest because it's trapped beneath that chest of evil. I don't know if it'll open when I open this one or when I open this one if I'll be able to open the other one on like off top of it. I, I have no idea. Moving on from that, and I'm going to move the microphone over here, so I'm sorry if it makes a noise. We are just going to move on and start opening these chests from this side. Bit Omfro, the War Master of Revelations. This is a hatred diggle of some sort. We're going to start by throwing an acid bowl at it. Might as well start draining that health early. And then we're going to hit it with an uppercut. It did manage to stun itself, though it did counter me. It is no longer stunned. I couldn't move that way because of a mace. I mean, the, the switch. Darn, it did not step on that trap. Basically, we're going to kite it around until I kill it. Because I don't want to take the risk that it hits me. And we have a pretty reliable stun here. This is a bad time. Well, explosions are going to be a thing. Brutabaga, I need you to go away. I mean, that wasn't away enough. Ah! I can take care of you in a separate way now. I will wait and finish killing the Diggle. That was one dealt with. Now we armor up and prepare for the next one. Let's wait for our stun to finish cooling down first just in case. This is another hatred Diggle of some variety. All I managed to do was stun something else and took a fair amount of damage from my time. Well, we know this one is certainly dangerous. Cannot let it touch me like that again. If I was a more magey character, that probably would have killed me. Still stunned. I did not take advantage of that one. I should have, though. I am now fully healed, and I will not take the risk. I will simply wait for the stun. There we are! Two down. Now time for the last chest. An item! And we have, were able to open the uber chest and excuse me humana 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 we'll get back to that let's look at the hummer humney 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 <sighs> okay I need to breathe for a minute we were just attacked by two fabulous items at the same time so let's approach these one at a time one at a time this staff gives us one hit point, which is meaningless. Three resistance, and the thing I have resistance for days on, which is helpful, but not but not that helpful. Mana, which is meaningless. And a total of 12, 13, 14, 15, 21 damage. This staff has 18 and 6, which is already 24, plus another 6, which is 30, plus 3, plus 6, 39? Plus the same point of health, plus three resistance and something I don't have, 
plus armor absorption rating. I believe that's armor absorption rating. No, that's dodge reduction. That's still helpful. And two to sneakiness, which won't help me. This staff is way better. They say that the power of the wizard Moravik doubles every year. This staff was one of his earlier designs. It is studded with surplus frozen sunlight. What? And is decorated with damaged lumps and museum grade sand paintings. We want to use this. Now we look at the ring. Holy crap, is that a ring? I did not notice the black orb there. Okay. It has 12 points of damage that it's going to add to my to my profile. It has minus two to the resistance. I, again, I have buttloads in. Uh, two resistance is something I don't. Two to the thing I don't use. One into a thing I apparently use quite a bit because it's all the way up to 48. One hit point, which is okay. Two to the melee flying power, which is great. 10 to the crit chance. Which I don't think will help me, because I don't get any crits with my weapon at all. And then 2 to health regeneration, which is awesome. We are wearing this ring, it's just a matter of what we replace. Both of these are tough options. Health is important, and health regeneration is important. Ultimately, this ring is better than that ring. The problem is... I lose all of the resistance I have in that type, but we are past the ice floor, and I believe that is the ice re no, that's lightning resistance. I don't think we have any glacier resistance or whichever one that one is. 15 hit points itself is not a big deal, but the three armor, like the three health regeneration is. We're going to replace that one. We'll make do without, I believe. Look at those damage numbers. Holy guacamole. I am significantly more dangerous than I was a second ago. This is when I do something stupid and die. Still can't one hit one of those. Probably won't ever one hit one of those. We need to get out our sculler. Where is it? Or are the fist cube? I just call it a sculler because of the sound it makes. It's not what it is at all, of course. Was there anything here I needed to pick up? No. What was that? There's something shiny there. Oh, that's a trap. Okay. Let's skull these. Take that. Take that. Take this. Take this. We have a door up here. And a door that way. Let's go this way. We have a gem. That was two very good finds that I will point out. We're in the same square. Both of the really good items we got were from the two chests on top of each other. I'm glad we were able to get that Uber chest open. Also, those fireballs aren't working quite so well when I reflect everything. I'm happy I have that magic shield. Alright. The bird is actually more dangerous. I wouldn't think that would be the case compared to a fire drake, but, you know. Just watching my health. I don't want to be surrounded if I can avoid it. And that's what makes the bird so bad. And that situation is dealt with. Not magnificently, but dealt with. Also, there are more hag ravens here. Let's walk around until that effect fades off. Oh! When did you get here? Ah, a carrot. And a rutabaga who charged me or something. And is now dead. I would like those rocket boots, I believe. I could take them. Let's quickly kill this raven. My stun is on cooldown. 
Notice my armor up is still at 12. It's been replenishing itself because of the abilities I took. Kill the thing that can blind me. I want that item. Confidence kit. I take the rocket boots. I actually just want to select that. I want to put the orb of nothing in there. I already have one in my inventory. You might turn into a rock, but I will still kill you. We have reached one of the ends of the dungeon. There's a lot going on. I need to give the game a minute to catch up. Taking quite a few sources of damage here. Ah! The gremlin hurts because I lost my resistance. I was worried about that. There are lightning based enemies afoot. I'll just skull that shield and beat on this wyvern. But I lost my armor. So I'd like to put that back on. Something just hurt me, like bad. Like bad, man, like bad. But my health regeneration is getting crazier and crazier by the minute. That is a time bomb effect, and it has now gone off. I'll just drop this and kill you. What happened to the bottle? Did I feed it to him? I don't think we want to. Ow. I mean, I don't think we want to wear that, but we'll probably keep it for selling purposes. Can I get rid of this? Gonna have to try. Nope, and that's going to go off, and that's going to hurt. Actually, it doesn't hurt too terribly. Oh! Hello, Time Lord Scarf! Keeps your neck warm through time and space. It is studded with twisted pig iron and is decorated with gratuitous sagas and viking warriors. Or about viking warriors. I believe we can actually wear this in our next slot. We can. It is a good item. I will have to take a closer look at that in a minute. Oh, no, this one's about traps. That's probably not a good idea. Ow. Do I have anything useless? Um. I should make a trip back. But I kind of want to get through this spot first. Gosh dang it. This 25% chance is kicking my butt. Aha! I'll carry this with me. Hello, Leprechaun. Go away. More rocket boots. I believe the rocket boots were supposed to be better than the Servitons. Maybe just because mine were encrusted. Alright, let's move that over here. I'd like to find a shop, but the odds of that are just slim asset bolts. I can just get rid of that. And for the first time in quite a few mini floors, I can simply access this place. <laughs> Blinio the Epic Newt. Let's kill that geologist, find a stairway down. All right, we need to get rid of some useless stuff here. Um, tell you what, we'll carry this with us and walk back to where the scarf is. And then we'll do a run. Run back to our little portal dimension and smelt some things and drop some things off. I still cannot get over the luck that we got there. 
I mean, wow. <laughs> that was pretty incredible what happened there. Just finding those things like that. I believe that is the wrong material. It is. It just dropped it there because I couldn't carry it. Copper. Steel. Iron. Zinc. One of these. One of those. Plastic. A quick save. A pyrite. Coal. Is there anything else I'm carrying? Yes, gold. Gold! Where's my gold? All the way down there, apparently. Also, before we leave... And now we leave. I should really clean that place up. A door. A potion. Oh, right. I'm leaving behind the stuff I was going to take. I'm going to throw those rocket boots to one of those anvils. We have plenty! Try to see if I can make something good. What's up here? I believe the Ep Shrine. I knew that the second I saw such weak, such weak creatures. The monstrous regiment, the fertile forts, and their commander, the vile Sempormag, the cowardly giraffes, must be stopped. And they are, conveniently enough, relatively where we're going to end up going anyways. Ow. I resisted having my stuff be damaged. That's good. Hear the sounds of a cash register, so there's going to be something nearby. Hopefully up there. That doesn't mean what it used to, unfortunately. Let's go hunt down the rest of the luckies and start hitting up. Ah, oh, good. They're all forming a nice little polite line for me. Don't you dare step on that trap. Good. Get over here. Coward. You too. Oh no! The cowardly giraffes has appeared! Wrong way. I'm not going to take the chance. I can circle around you and I will. Battle Geology has probably saved my skin quite a few times in this. Who knows how many of these deadly enemies that would have one hit me had I not been so, really, ugh, had I not been so careful. Dang gum wizard sleeves. Open! And use some more lockpicks. There is a skill tree that lets you just generate lockpicks as an ability. It's pretty nice. We'll skull that. We'll break that. We'll carry that. Hopefully we're going to that store sometime soon. Let's kill this diggle. That's a pretty good staff, but it's only 22 damage. I will carry it for selling purposes. Gotta keep that money up in case I find something worth something. Did I see an invisible enemy? My mind's playing tricks on me now. Hopefully this is that shop. It is not. It is a loot fish shrine, however. I waited for you to come to me in melee combat, and that's what I get for that. I should have known. I hate these. Stop. I can't see a thing! Good, 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 good. Oh, Lutva statue! Take this huge donation of 214! I'm about to over double what I had in here. 
314 pieces and 354 pieces and no blessing from the loot fist god boy is he picky what do I have to do to get this guy's attention I don't think we're gonna see a blessing from him this whole run <laughs> That's bad, and I want to get out of it. Serves you right for casting it, jerk. Hello, Heck Raven. Do us both a favor and die. Oh, also, we're way over 20 minutes. Thank you all for watching. This is Wanamataka's signing off. I'll see you guys later. Take care, and bye-bye.